Because most of the times the issue of the abnormal discharge really uh, comes in when it comes to vaginal infections. Just before we could have a look at different types of vaginal infections there are and their specific symptoms, do we have a uh, typical symptoms of a vaginal infection, whether it's candidiasis or chlamydia, do we have typical or each infection will come with their own uh, specific symptoms? I would say most, uh, the, the each infection will come with a certain type of mm. uh, symptoms. But generally speaking, there will be an abnormal vaginal discharge which is, has a color that is different from what you describe as normal as clear or uh, slightly cloudy. There would be uh, sometimes the smell in the vaginal discharge. Some infections like a yeast infection doesn't usually have a bad smell. There would be uh, some form of irritation. An irritation means uh, any, any, any touch or sensation uh, usually is heightened. For, in, for instance, some women might report that they might have some bit of pain when passing urine or even have pain during intercourse. And this is usually during the initial phase of intercourse that they would report that they have that type of pain. And the reason is because the breach of the, uh, of the inner lining of the vagina is uh, more or less broken by the infection and that causes pain. So those are the general symptoms. Sometimes women might just feel um, some bit of itching uh, and that is mainly with a yeast infection. And for some types of vaginitis that we usually don't call them infectious, the other symptoms that people might have for instance, they might say they used a certain type of a cream or a certain type of a vaginal douche and they noted it's almost like an allergic reaction, some bit of itching, yes. Mm -hmm. 